Okay, guys and girls, it's Blackjack with 396 Guitars. We have the Dumpster Fire Acoustic Guitar. Uh, we had success fixing the headstock, but we had an epic fail with the plastic tuners that came with it. So I sourced out a set of tuners, cheap ones, but I'm going to show you what we're doing. We're going to put the tuners on, we're going to restring it, and make this guitar play. Well, let's get to work. If you dig what I'm doing, like and subscribe. Now remember, this literally was, someone was throwing this out. The headstock was snapped completely off. Look at episode one and two. Um, we glued it back together, um, but the... <laughs> The tuners that were on it were in such bad shape that when I was trying to restring it, they, yeah, it was an epic fail. Of course, the G was the one that really hung us up. Otherwise, I would have got the whole thing strung up. So I got, listen, we all know this is not the top of the line stuff, but compared to what was in this guitar, it's a thousand times better. And that's what we're using. Um, I wouldn't put it on my... I wouldn't use that brand for, you know, one of my builds, certainly not, um, but it's okay stuff. Uh, I'm going to pull back a little bit here. I think we're too zoomed close. Too close, way too close. Let's back up. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, so what we're doing, these are, these are the good kind of design. This pops through the back and then there's actually the bushing is threaded so that it can hold it onto there and the gearing is much better, vastly improved over. I, I you know, some some young person would have got this guitar for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever, you know, holiday recently and it would have broke within a couple of weeks and that Young person probably would have gone, ah, gave up on playing guitar. You never know. It could have been the next Eddie Van Halen, for all we know. Uh, so how these go in, pretty simple. Uh, here's, I'm not even going to try to fill in the old holes. It doesn't matter. Uh, all you want to do is try to clock them so that they're, these are all the same length. You just try to clock them so that they match up a little bit. Um, as close as possible, you put a pilot hole in. Now, the way that I actually did this was I tightened them down from the other end, and then that way they stay in place while I try to clock them, get them where I want them. I just make them snug enough that they'll stay in place. 10 millimeter. Get them all pointing the same way. And just snug it up where you want it to be. And that'll look okay. Same thing. See, they go, this pops through. Then the bushing is actually threaded, and there's a hard steel washer. It lays against the headstock and it tightens it down. That way, you're never going to get flex when you're trying to tune up, you know, any particular string. The other ones, it would have never stayed in tune. They were just the, the worst plastic junk I have ever seen, ever seen. And I've seen a lot of crappy plastic junk. So I'm just trying to. Make them look as straight as possible, I guess. They kind of do point down slightly. Yeah, that's close enough. And just make them snug because all we're going to do is, I'm gonna, I already did these four. I'm going to show you these two right here. We're just going to drill them and put a screw in. And then that's it. They're ready to string up. Make sure you don't go through the other side. 
The wifey is going to love me for all the sawdust that I blew all over the floor today. Thank God she doesn't review my videos. Little tiny screws so that they can't move laterally or spin on you. Most most of the tension and firmness of the tuner is held by the, the bushing nut. Beautiful. Let's just make sure they're all snug. And you know my mantra, this is not a Harley Davidson. You don't have to pull out a wrench. If you can get them snug with your finger, that's usually tight enough. Um, oh my goodness, we had some chip out. All right, let's see if I can salvage these strings and make them work. I really don't want to donate another set of strings on this thing. <clears throat> Put my 10 millimeter away. All right. And this is this is the nightmare of taking strings off and reusing them. Ah, that one came right off. I happen to know that the brass one is the E. The rest of them I'm going to have to measure maybe. All right, so onward and upward. That's one. I'm going to do the rest of them. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, let's tune it up. We got the strings back on it. Interesting little thing. Um, I grabbed the wrong set of tuners, so these go this way, and then these go that way too. Usually on a three and three, these would turn counterclockwise, and these would turn clockwise, cl counterclockwise. These want to turn clockwise. But look at what we're working with here. I don't know if this guitar will ever hold tune, but I believe that it will because it, it almost seems like it is now. Sounds like it's got some resonance to it. I know the camera's picking up on the green. Green is good when it stays in tune. Um, I don't see anything wrong with this the way that it is. Uh, it's a playable guitar. This is hanging 
tough. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave it for a day or two. I kind of like the way it sounds. It doesn't sound horrible. I mean, it would make now it would make a, a better guitar. Oddly enough, it would make a better guitar now for a young person, a, a beginner that's just their first guitar than it was brand new before the headstock was broken with those old tuners. This thing's holding tune. We're going to call this a success. We are absolutely going to call this a success. We started out with a guitar that was, <laughs> somebody was throwing in the garbage. And with a little bit of effort and maybe an hour or two of time, um, I think totally all in, I've got $18 into new tuners. They're not the correct tuners. They're not the best tuners, but you know what? Guess what? Guitar is staying in tune. It's holding tune. I'm going to leave it set. I may bring it up in a another video coming up soon just to show you. I'm not going to do a whole other video on how this thing went. Uh, we're going to snip all these off because I'm sure this guitar is going to play. And you know what? Maybe I'll find a young person to donate it to. Maybe a school. Maybe... You know, there's got maybe a church, you know, somebody out there needs a guitar that will play and stay in tune. And there's no reason for this thing to be in a dumpster. I like it. And it's got some pretty decent resonance for a cheap $100 guitar with a broken headstock that we repaired, but $18 tuners on it. So all in, I'm $18 into this guitar. I think it needs to be donated. This is Blackjack with 396 Guitars. Thanks for hanging in there. Uh, I'm sorry this had to go three videos. I didn't expect it to, but the Rotten Kidding class in the last video was, of course, the G-string, the G-tuner in this case. Uh, I put some cheap tuners on it, $18 tuners. They're good style, good design. They're metal. They're going to hold this guitar in tune, uh, barring any ungluing or you know, catastrophic failure from my repair, but I don't see that happening. 396 Guitars, we'll talk soon.